Uh, do you have your mic on, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, your mic is on. Okay, uh, well, thank you for joining us. Um, this is Mr. O. You want some too? What is his coach's name? Uh, Big Big Houdini. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Houdini, I really appreciate you taking the time out to join us. Um, we usually don't interview blatant losers that just got their ass whipped all season. And uh, as a matter of fact, starting next season, only the people that make the playoffs will be allowed to be interviewed. So. That should give you guys a little bit of pep in your step. You can always choose to opt out, but like I said, I really appreciate you taking the time out because it shows that you're much more of a man than I am because you got fucking ass raped all season. So we're going to uh, turn it over to uh, Miss G. Maya so that you can, you know, you can explain yourself because she has a lot of questions that she wants to ask you. So I'm going to turn it, off, turn it over at this time to Miss G. Maya. Go ahead. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another G. Maya's World Exclusive. I am joined this afternoon with Mr. Big Houdini, the head coach of the Texans. How are you today? Is he there? Yeah, how you doing? Oh, okay, I'm okay. Sorry. Um, I think what's on everyone's mind is how did you not jump off a building and kill yourself with your score and your career, <laughs> the season going the way that it did? How, how were you able to not rage quit every single game? Well, you see, we started we started the season with a game plan. So I mean, every, everything went according to plan. Um, what? Right, right now, right now we're geared in, in 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 the rebuilding of this franchise. I mean, this is the first year all these players play together. So I mean, I understand everybody was getting the you know everybody had to get the bugs out, had to get the jitters out, you know. So I mean, we saved our money. That's what we did. You know, I I didn't give them any Gatorade. You know, there was no <laughs> training camp. You know, we saved money on everything. I mean, uh, their equipment. I mean, not even, it, it, we had no cleats. We were playing with uh, Chuck Taylors on the field. I mean, if you know it, if you took a look, it was, it was Chuck Taylors we were running around with. So, I mean, you know, we had no gloves for our receivers. I mean, we did what we had to do so we can get that uh, $130 million uh, salary cap, you know. And, and okay. you know, we have $88 million right now where we're able to go in our uh, first round pick. We're able to recruit. I mean, we're able to rebuild our team. We're going to pick up a receiver. You know, we're going to okay. drop a couple of these guys. So I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, we got a plan, and, and, and you know, our plan was set in motion. I mean, we wanted to feel everybody out first season. You know, we're 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 pulling one of the heat moves. You know, we're doing like a Miami move right now. You so, know. So basically, we you're saying the, the 90 plus point blowouts were intentional. <laughs> well, well, yeah. See, see, my, my my coaching strategy. I mean, everyone has their coaching strategy. My strategy right now is to to completely humiliate my team. Uh, I want I want to bring them down and break them down to the to the bare minimum to the bare skin, and that way they have a lot to prove uh, this season coming now. So, I mean, I mean that, that, that's 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 the way I do it. You know, I, I treat it just the same way. You know, I treat my women. You know, you break them down, get them really submissive, make make sure that they depend on you for everything. And now give them some gloves, give them some cleats, some Gatorade with sugar in it. I mean, that's what we do. Oh my gosh. So this this. This was intentional. It was it was scary to watch. It was scary to look at every week, looking at the results. You know, at first I felt bad. Then I got pissed off when I was looking at the progress. I, I don't know. I just wanted you to come out there and do something more. You did get one win. Um, do you mind talking about what offense or defense you what used you mean you gotta to win? get that win? That was a disconnect. This guy oh. sucks, bro. I'm gonna come right out and say it. This guy sucks. I'm sorry, come in. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't get me. Don't get me hot. Don't get me hot. Come this in. guy it's got okay. a. He's supposed to go 0 16. Okay. God damn it. Okay, but he didn't. He got a win. So no, he, he did not. Oh my God, he okay. ain't sports froze. Right. And this motherfucker escaped. Okay. All right. 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 I got to take a bike in. I got to take a bike in. It's okay. Listen, only I'm allowed. Only I'm allowed to badmouth my team. All right. That was a win. It says W. There's a win. I mean, stats don't lie. I mean, read the numbers. Oh shit! I apologize, Mr. Houdini. It is a win on the record. I apologize, Mr. Yeah, yeah, Houdini. Yeah, yeah. Some some of the other uh, coaches, players around the league were referring to to your team as the Village Bicycle. Any retaliation? Any retort to that? Well, I mean, you can call me the Village Bicycle all you want, if you want, but um, if, if, if you know, Lance Armstrong won how many Tour de France? I mean, come on. I mean, we, we, we all make a comeback. We all, we all do a comeback, you know, eventually. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I have okay. to stop you here. I have to stop you here. Did you just compare yourself to Lance Armstrong? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We're cheaters. I mean, I got to win. What do you expect? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me, let me, hold on. Let me look at my notes again. Let me see what your, what your record was. Okay, 1 of 15. Okay, um, <laughs> I, I, I'm what sorry. What 1 of 15. I don't see, I don't see the comparison between you and Lance Armstrong, he won the most Tour de France's. He cheated. He don't. So? 
Okay. At least he did something and he got a win. Okay, this guy right here is a fucking loser. AKA the village bicycle. No, let's, Go ahead. Let's see, let's, let's see what you what you fail to understand. This is this is what you fail to understand. This is this is a team sport. It's a, it's a team sport. And the bottom line is my team was not ready to play. I mean, this is the first <laughs> year they're all here together. They and had how many weeks game. to get ready to play though? I don't understand. They had so many I mean, weeks I, I, to get I, ready to play. I mean, I was playing Candy Crush most of the games. I mean, I played probably, you know, the first five minutes I'm out on the field, but then, you know, I started playing Candy Crush and, you know, I started playing Bejeweled, you know, on my on my new iPhone. So, I mean, I wasn't really paying much attention <laughs> because I wanted to see how these guys react to um, to the thrashing if they actually keep their, their focus. You know, I wanted to make sure their morale is completely broken before I rebuild the <laughs> what? I, I've never, so, ever... I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm coming, I'm, I'm, I mean, you'll see this season, I'll, I'll be coming for the heads. I mean... Quan is the king. He's no longer the king. You know. He's, oh he's, shit! It, 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 I, I'm, I'm going to make sure that these these are uh, th these top ranked um, coaches out there understand and realize that uh, it's not a game anymore, and that uh, Josh Freeman is going to be my quarterback. I will not be drafting a quarterback. Anybody who wants my first round draft pick is going to literally go fuck themselves. <laughs> so I will be picking up a, a receiver, uh, and then you know, th then my game plan is to, to build up my defense. You know, once my defense get built up, I mean, it, it's all a wrap now. I mean, the coaches, they already got a piece of my salary cap, so I know the calls are going my way. I mean, that's just a given. Wow. So, I mean, um, it, it is what it is. I'm, we'll see when I'm, I mean, I'm I just, I'm, until the, the season starts. I'm just floored and flabbergasted that you would call out anyone with the record the way it was with a season that went the way it did. Oh, my gosh. You have, you sound like you have a lot of confidence and you apparently know what you're doing. It's a strategy that's never been done before, ever. <laughs> um, the Detroit Lions had a, had a season somewhat like yours a couple of years ago. But um, I don't think that they had the same intention. I don't think it was their intention to have that, that to be the Village Bicycle as, as it was yours. Um, I mean, what, what, what I noticed is you, you guys have no vision. You guys have to open your minds up to the vision <laughs> of what I'm doing here. I mean, uh... I mean, Co Coach Brown left Cleveland as a loser, and the Lakers picked him up uh, immediately. So, I mean, if, if a franchise like the Lakers can see the potential and the strategy of this coach, I mean, they, they, you understand where I'm coming from right now. No, I'm no, sorry, I'm sorry. Are the Lakers winning right now? No, the Lakers picked him up, then they fired him after the first season, five games into the season, which has never been done before, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's not the point. You're kind of ruining my whole uh, pitch here. But um, <laughs> as, as, as I would say, the, the strategy of the board now is, is to get wins. And um, the first game of the season, I will show you exactly uh, what I mean by getting the win. Just, just to know, I, I know I don't like to live in the past, and we should always uh, strive to move forward. But this past season, I just wanted to know uh, during during the season, the people that you were playing against, did they spit on it? Did they use Astroglide KY, or did they go and dry? What, what what was happening? What? Um, actually, actually, these are. I'm not, I'm not too familiar with these references um, at all, but <laughs> what I do know is that I've rebuilt my team. You know, I've broken them down. <laughs> I've stripped them of all their moral, the, the moral character. You know, I took every fiber away from them. And now this off season, I mean, we've done nothing but come together. I mean, we have two a day practices. You know, we've we've went out taking the Chuck E. Cheese. We know what time it is. It's time for us to get together. <laughs> well, all right, listen. All uh, right, this guy is outrageous. We gotta close it out. This guy. Okay. All right. All right. Do you have so any? I understand. I mean, I mean, we, I, I, we play Drake in the locker room. We get them all riled up, ready for the game. I mean, what? what? All right. Listen. Look. Look. Okay. This guy. All right. That's enough okay. for this guy. Listen. Mr. Close Mr. Out this guy. Mr. Houdini, do you have any closing closing statements? Uh, the only closing statement I have is uh, uh, just get ready for the Titans. I mean, they don't call them Titans for nothing. So I mean, just just get ready. I'll let, I'll let my talking be done on the field. You have the Texans. Okay. You have the Texans, sir. The Titans is YF's team. No, 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 I'm rooting for the Titans. I know I got the Texans. I'm rooting for the Titans. The Titans. <laughs> 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 okay, so, All right, this guy, this guy is an asshole. So, right. Mr. Houdini, I want to thank you for coming out. That was the most delusional interview <laughs> I've done so far. Um, I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay. And that's so, why in the future only thank, thank playoff teams will be interviewed. Because oh, this guy God. is a fucking loser. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank he's cheering for go, the go, Titans. Go, go Titans. He, go Titans. I just, I you just. Said go Titans. I, I hope, I hope your players get Gatorade with sugar. I don't, I don't. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Well, thank you, thank you, everyone, for joining us for another G Maya's World exclusive. Uh, it's, it's been a pleasure. I'm your host, Mrs. G Maya, and uh, let's look forward to actually having an interview with the Commish soon. All right, you got. All right, you take care, uh, Village Bicycle, aka Big Udini. Thank you, sir. All right. <laughs>